You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Bold fans. It's your girl, Belinda, from Soap Dirt. And it looks like we are finally going to find out who spawned Luna. Who is the dirty secret that Poppy Nazawa has been hiding for 20 years? We're going to dive into who is the guy that knocked up Poppy all those years ago and why she is so desperate to keep it a secret. But first, please click subscribe if you have not. So just right away, I want to to address some of the candidates that will not and cannot possibly be her father. I have heard many of these suggested on Soap social media, some here in the comments, and they are just nuts. There is no way that Luna's father will be someone who is biologically related to RJ Forster. Yes, Bold does get creepy with step siblings and ex step siblings hooking up, sometimes father in law and daughters in law hooking up but they never do actual incest, actual blood-related people doing the deed. So that narrows the field and it knocks some people out, completely out. That means Luna Nazawa's father absolutely will not and cannot be, hear me in the back, Ridge Forrester or Thorn Forrester. Both of them are out because Ridge and Thorn share a mother, Stephanie Forster, and RJ is the son of Ridge. So that would make him a sibling or cousin to Luna. It's not happening. Not ever. As for Eric Forster being the daddy, okay, that is possible because Eric and Ridge are not biologically related. Neither are Eric and RJ, but it seems random and out of nowhere. So I pretty much have him discounted as well. Bald could always do a reach and say Luna is the child of dead Storm Logan, like they did with Felony Flo Fulton, but I don't think they're going to go there again, and I don't think that's something that Poppy would be desperate to hide. The desperation that Poppy is showing, even while Luna is begging her to tell her the truth, is a huge red flag about who is the daddy of her only child. Right after Luna was begging Poppy for the truth, her mom stormed out on her because she's rightly ashamed of her trashy behavior, not just back then, not just about refusing to reveal her daddy's name, but also because of the whole drug mint incident, which might be a little foreshadowing or is it it's backshadowing if it relates to something in the past. I don't know if that's a word backshadowing that shame that Poppy feels is all consuming. And that's what has me thinking it can only be one of two men. But there's a third guy in the mix that we just have to discuss real quick. That third guy is, of course, Bill Spencer himself. I do not think Dollar Bill is Luna's father. First, he's completely open to it, and he has repeatedly asked Poppy about it. He would be thrilled to be Luna's daddy. She probably wishes that Bill was the guy who knocked her up because that would be a lot easier for people to accept than what I'm certain is a very, very ugly truth coming out soon. But Bill is filling in for her dad, taking on that father figure role. She told him this week that she has to know who's her father. And I believe Bill Spencer is going to support her on this journey, even though his girlfriend slash bed buddy Poppy Nazawa wants the past to remain buried. So I wonder if Bill is going to arrange for her to have one of those 23 and Me tests. You know, I don't think she's not just going to go to a laboratory. So no matter what route she chooses, I fully expect Luna is going to go behind her mother's back and have a DNA test run. But to do like a hospital DNA test, she would have to have an idea of who's the daddy so she could be tested against potential candidates. And other than Bill, Luna Nazawa has no names in mind, no possibilities of who her dad might be. So I think it's going to have to be some kind of generic 
DNA tests, like the ones you can get from Ancestry, 23andMe. There's other public DNA database tests. So the two men that I think are most likely to be her biological father are themselves, father and son. I feel like we're going to find out that either Jack Finnegan or his son, John Finnegan, aka Dr. Finn, are, you know, the only two possible daddy choices that would explain the shame in Poppy's eyes whenever the subject of Luna's father comes up. Literally anybody else in the cast of characters past and present does not explain the shame. Only those two. If it were Ridge or Thorne who knocked her up, Poppy would have already done whatever she had to do to stop Luna from dating RJ because she would know that that makes them blood relatives. And that's not happening. That's not the case. So that means someone else that she's so ashamed of sleeping with, but who isn't blood related to Luna's current boyfriend, RJ. That leads us back to Poppy and the sister who hates her, Lee Finnegan. Now, here's the thing. I just wonder if Bold and the Beautiful decided long ago who was going to be Luna's father or if they hadn't decided and were waiting to gauge fan reaction and see fan theories before they decided or they could have changed it midstream. So the obviously ickier option is Finn being her father. But, you know, Bold likes icky. We know this. If you're a longtime watcher, you know they like the ick. Poppy sleeping with either Finn or Jack would definitely infuriate her big sister Lee, and it would explain all the hatred she has heaped on her since we first met Poppy. Poppy sleeping with Jack Finnegan is the easier one to explain. Jack clearly had no standards when it came to where he put his penis. After all, he stuck it in Sheila Carter a few decades ago to make Fen. Granted, she had 10 toes back then, but that does not make it a more acceptable choice. So they could easily tweak Jack's history to show he was a repeat cheater, always fooling around on his wife, Lee Finnegan. So him banging his wife's sister would be the kind of thing a sketchy dude like that would do. And yes, Poppy would certainly be ashamed of making the two-backed beast with her brother-in-law. But that doesn't explain some other recent scenes between Poppy and her nephew Finn that we saw. And yeah, I get the whole thing of it being gross because that boy was raised as her nephew, even though he's adopted and not blood related. But that doesn't mean that Bold isn't going to go there. In fact, I think B&B likes to go to disgusting places and they do it deliberately. That's why they had Brooke Logan bang a high school boy who was dating her daughter Hope. Just blech. And that's why they had Brooke bang her son-in-law Deacon Sharp too. It's also, speaking of ick, why Bold had Deacon call Brooke and let her and Eric and Rick Forster listen while he deflowered virginal Bridget Forrester. If you don't recall that, the CBS soap had Bridget's parents and brother listening to her getting railed while losing her virginity. So yeah, I have zero faith that Bald will not go somewhere disturbing and disgusting with this Luna and Poppy who's the daddy reveal. Remember at the office the other day, Fenn mentioned how Poppy liked to help him de-stress while he was in college. He mentioned their little dance party. So clearly to me, she She's closer to his age than probably her big sisters. We have the druggy mints she's been using for years. Lee revealed the other day her sister's been doing drugs for years and years. So if Finn and Poppy each had a couple of her little happy mints, they might have slept together accidentally, kind of like Luna and Zende slept together accidentally. And Poppy might be the only one who knows it. Finn might not even remember it at all. So yeah, that would be absolutely stunning and disturbing and uncomfortable to watch. Either way, however it comes out, it's going to tie Luna closer to Finn, either as his sister or his daughter. But I have to tell you guys, as sick as it is, and I understand that, I'm kind of hoping Finn's her dad. (laughs) 
because that's the soapiest of all the daddy options. And it would make Steffi her stepmother and Hayes her brother. And I do love twisted stuff. Bold a lot of time crosses lines and they do gross me out. But in this case, I'm, I'm kind of more curious and interested and I'd be okay with them going there. I would. I don't know why, but I am. So to that more disturbing option, I say drop your comments on who you think is Luna's daddy, who you want to be Luna's daddy, who you don't want to be Luna's daddy. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back here. We are talking Bold and the Beautiful seven days a week. And as always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.